Hello, my name is Petros Demetsis. I run the engineering organization and I'm responsible for the development of all applications and technologies here at Workday. I think it's important to touch upon what makes Workday development and technology fundamentally different. So first things first, what does development mean at Workday? Well, it starts with the first line of code and metadata definition that we create. We iterate it over time into services and products, all the way to the deployment, the infrastructure, and finally, the URL that our customers sign on. And I describe it that way because there's a theme. It's one thing that we build. We don't build multiple things and then cobble them together. This is a different approach in the enterprise software industry. This approach, plus our object-based in-memory technology, differentiates us from our competition. The competition is left to marketing in which they try to match or best our solutions. But when it comes to core technology, they simply can't beat us. Okay, that's all well and good. But what's really important here is why we choose to go down this different development path. So let's go back to the 60s and 70s when businesses ran on really huge mainframe computers that you could shove transactional data into. And when someone wanted to get to that data, you had to ask an expert's permission. It was a daunting task. And then you waited. A few weeks later, your report would finally arrive. But now, that data was now old. It was stale. Then we had the 80s, with the personal computers which connected to the mainframe. You could run your report, hit a button, all that data that used to be delivered by the dude would now be in a pretty spreadsheet. It was amazing. People were free, and they had fun with all that data. Of course, chaos ensued. Multiple versions of the same data would float around. There was no single source of truth, not to mention the lack of proper security enforcement that resulted from passing around spreadsheets through email. But then, the following years, other technology solutions were created. And they created easier and faster access to transactional data. They created the capability of dimensionality to pull and analyze that data. And at the time, these were all fantastic technologies but they weren't easy to work with. You had to extract the data from one transactional system, take it to another system, and then you could start analyzing. So again, powerful and fantastic technologies at the time, but still working off stale data. So when we built Workday, we had a chance to start from scratch, a chance to build something new that could solve a business problem. But how? How can our technology architecture help us close the gap between when we transact and then analyze that information to make business decisions? Our answer? Embed the whole notion of transactions and analysis in the same place. Workday was the first enterprise company to use object technology, a big departure from the relational technology used in legacy vendors. You see, in Workday architecture, the logic and the data are in the same place. The object. If you ask an object a question, it'll say, OK, I have that data, here's the answer. But if you ask it a question that the object does not know the answer, it says, hang on a minute, I've got this relationship with this other object. I'll go ask it. And if that object doesn't have the answer, it will ask the next one. And you're hopping around. You're traversing different dimensions. You're free to move around the object model. This is fundamentally different from past technologies that had a separation between your data and your business logic. What does this allow you to do? The objects provide you the ability to make things contextual and actionable. Now, when a report is run, our system uses relationships to the primary object, such as worker, to gather all the data related to that object. We can then drill down, ask the data questions, bring in more data, all on the fly and within Workday. Unlike enterprise systems of old, we analyze transactional data in real time. Why? Because we need it to be instant. We wanted the system to work at the speed of human thought. And for it to be instant, it had to be in memory. 
We built this into our core technology. Let's talk about what this means. In traditional ERP systems, data is stored in the database. When a user wants to perform analysis on data, that data must be extracted from the database and uploaded to another system that formats the data for analysis, which takes time and computing resources. Not only does this make it difficult to perform a complex analysis on that data, but the data being worked on is old, it's stale. In-memory means we are storing data directly in the same area the application is running, in its memory. The transactional system and the analytical system operate in the same place. So, when you perform analysis on this data, you're working with live data, and it's real time. This is something you cannot retrofit. You can't add this in later. To be fundamentally different, you have to build the analysis in from its initial design. Again, this is fundamentally different from our competition. We built Workday to help businesses make decisions based on their transactional data. Legacy systems simply cannot do this. With Workday, you're built for the future.